All right. So in this case, so first of all, guys, let's look at a couple things here. Let's look at a couple things. In this example, if we want to take the antiderivative, we know that taking the derivative of fx would be f prime of x, right? So the antiderivative of fx, we use capital F equals x squared plus c. Because we know the derivative of x squared gives us 2x, right? Now again, remember thinking antiderivative is like moving backwards. So if I want to find what is the antiderivative of f prime, then I just need to go ahead and write f of x. So the antiderivative of f prime is just going to be f of x, right? Then I got to figure out, well, what is just going to give me x? Well, I know that the derivative of x squared gives me 2x. So I know that I want that uh, x squared there. But I, gotta, I don't want the 2. So I got I to have some kind of operation to divide to eliminate that. So I should do what? Divide, divide by 2 or have like 1 half. And then make sure you add your constant. So the antiderivative of that, of x, of x, is going to be f of x equals 1 fx squared plus c. And again, what's the great thing about antiderivative? Is you can just go ahead and check your answer by taking the derivative. Take the derivative. Bring down the 2. 2 times 1 half is 1. x minus 1 is 1. So it equals x. And then obviously you could have any constant. So you're good. Derivative of the constant would be 0. Delu. See that? No? Yes? Kind of make a little.